Hello everyone, we're back with another unboxing today. Following off uh, Mahiru from last time, we've got Yamada, also from Working slash Wagnaria. Uh, it seems to be uh, the trend with these working poses, but they're all kind of kind of simple. Nothing too much in the terms of uh, expressions and poses. But hey, I think I think these ones capture Yamada's essence pretty well, especially this back here. So as I mentioned before, there's a I think it's an Android playset five that you can get. This is the back kitchen area. Uh, you can actually put Yamada upside down. Uh, in the kind of the upstairs area that she was living in for a while, which I think is pretty cool. I'm hoping I can actually just do that pose without needing um, needing the playset itself, but uh, we're gonna find out in this episode. Do do do. All right, what do we got here? Uh, and again, uh, some instructions in plastic. Let's see if it says anything about that pose. Okay, so we got that here. So open up, put the thing in the hatch, put her upside down and put her on the base. So yeah, I guess we can display her like that, but I guess um, you're really supposed to display her like that. If I can get my hands on that playset, I absolutely will. It's just, uh, they're pretty freaking expensive uh, pre-owned at the moment. I haven't found anywhere that's got it for like under, 150 bucks, which that's kind of expensive for a playset, but we'll see and find out. Dan seems to have this thing, some wire ties, if we can get it out. Is it actually, it's actually tied up as well, brilliant. Oh my gosh. I'm glad they did away with this, like, yeah, it keeps the box more secure, but it's more of a hassle to open up. Oh, okay, so you turn it on a little knob thing. Okay, we got that one. Let's see if we can do the same thing we did last time, just slide it out one side at a time. Come on, there we go. Should be pretty straightforward. There we go. Getting better at this. All right, let's crack her up. Oh, do we have, we've got tape as well, keeping her secure. This was a second hand figure, but clearly it's never been opened. All right, let's get the tape out of here. Where else is the tape? Get some more here. Man, I really secured this one. Tape. Oh wait, hold on, this has been opened. How did that happen? Oh no wait, it's just slipped through the crack. Alright. Well, I, I'm glad they made Nendroids easy to open these days. Come on. Almost got a grip. There we go. There. Even more tape. Gosh, what were they expecting to happen to this Nandroid? Why is it so securely packed? Is that all? You got anything at the bottom? No, I think I think we're in the clear. No, I lied, we got one more middle part. Okay, there we go. Please let that be all. Yep, okay, cool. We're free. Ah, uh, this is an old finger. How sticky are you? You're not sticky at all. That is that is ideal. And in the process of opening you, everything has gone flying. Okay, so that goes there. This probably goes here, and that goes there. There we go. Easy. All right, I think the stickiness I'm feeling on my hands is probably from that tape. All right, let's get some more plastic out of you. Do, do, do. Like plastic. Uh, 
And there we go. Oh, this is perfect. <laughs> oh. Yamada just makes me laugh. Just looking at her, I feel like smiling and laughing about her doing something dumb. She just looks so, so clueless, so out of it, doesn't know what's going on. Ah, oh, man, I loved, like, all her lines and the delivery on them. They were really good. But that's, uh, that's the main figure right there. And then we've got uh, the upside-down hair. I guess it'd go like that, and you'd put a faceplate in like that. Something like that. Vaguely. It'd look like that. Definitely have to try this out. Oh, boy. What a figure. Uh, and here we have... The contraption, how does this open? Okay, so that opens like that, and I guess we shove part of her body in there, and she just kind of hangs out from here. Definitely gonna use this, hell yeah. And then again, we've got um, the clear plastic ones, which really look, look quite nice. It's uh, less noticeable. Hold on, what's this? Wait. So... Oh! Oh, it's a magnetic one. I haven't seen one of these before. That's actually really neat. I like it. Well, that's gonna make displaying her a lot easier, for sure. Uh, we got a random... What even is this? Oh wait, is this to... I think this is to keep her in here, something like that. Uh, we got the regular base bit, and... The place that stand. Let's get all this back in here. How did you go in? Something like that. Yeah. Uh, how you know? Wait, does this? Uh, it doesn't need to look perfect. Anyway, uh, here we got her smiling, happy face. Honestly, I think um, I think this one's kind of better than my hero. Uh, like all the parts that it comes with as well as the face plates. I don't know. Maybe I'm just biased because I liked I liked uh, Yamada way more She's just so so friggin hilarious We've got um a plate and A cracked plate as well Because we all know she's dumb as heck Does that actually fit together? I'm curious Yeah I'll figure out how to use that later. And then we've got a couple of arm bits to do all the different poses. Which we will get into right now. Alright, so we got our first pose here. Uh, just kind of Yamada at an angle, kind of like ditzing around, I guess. She's always just got such like a, a good vibe going on to her. She's always such in a good mood, even though she's like messing up all the time. Uh, but she's always having fun while doing it by the looks of it. I think that's probably why I liked her the most out of everyone else. Let's get a better angle here. Do, do, do. There we go. Um, she's always got like, yeah, such a good, good funny energy, like nothing can bring you down kind of vibe. I think like having people like that in your life is it's really good. It's uh, a lot of fun to have them around, you know. Brings up the mood for everyone. Honestly, like, I, I could see Yamada just... You just slot her in with the Konosuba guys, and it just it just works so well. I could imagine all the dumb things they get up to. It would be great. Alright, well, that's about it for this pose. So let's get on to the next one, shall we? So next pose is after Yamada has just dropped a plate on the floor because she's pretty clumsy. Oh man, I really like this. All her poses and uh, face plates and stuff, just it really captures who she is so well. Like her, her dumb little cry that isn't really like a proper cry. It just, it works. It works really well. All right, let's, let's get ourselves a better angle for rotation. There we go. Alright. Yeah, she's just kind of looking down, sort of crying, sort of embarrassed at the broken plate. 
the um, the plate doesn't actually like uh, like most pieces that go in hands they usually have a hole or something but the way this one's done is it's actually just kind of got in between her hand there's like a gap and you slot the plate in between that and then the other hand just kind of goes in front of it if you can see through that little gap let's see if I can zoom in and get it there we go so yeah uh, it kind of slots in on the far hand and uh, the other hand just kind of goes on top to make it look like she's holding it when really it's just it's just this hand over here that's doing doing all the work. There we go, that's a good look. Let's zoom back out. But yeah, so that's about it for this pose. Again, really digging it. Like they've done a brilliant job with with Yamada. I might be biased, but who cares? Yamada's the best. Alright, let's move on to the next pose. And finally, and not last but not least, we have Yamada hanging from the ceiling. Oh my god, it looks so good. Oh, oh so good. Okay, let's, let's pull this back a little and get a better view. Alright. So, let me explain to you how this works while attempting to rotate this and hoping it doesn't fall. So what you do is you take a skirt off, uh, this, this part here, um, and then you just, you reattach the leg bits, and uh, there's actually, actually holes just here, so you attach the leg bits at an angle, and then just kind of put her body on top of that, um, and swivel her around to point forward, and then we've got the magnet connecting to the back of the head, um, the kind of hatch opening door does kind of stick to her head a bit, so you can try and put the magnet uh, behind the door, but it, I found that that didn't work too well. It kind of just dropped the figure a bit, and uh, so I, I just kind of pushed it back with a little bit of force, uh, but it seems to be fine, and uh, doesn't look like it's going to break anytime soon. Um, and then she just, you put her as high as you can go. Uh, the balance is actually, it's quite good. Uh, if you do have trouble with this, if you get this figure, you can just, you can tighten the screws on that. Um, I've actually got um, Armin from Attack on Titan as well. And I wanted to have him in his uh, 3D maneuver gear going through the air. So I just kind of tightened the screws on his stand and then he was good to go. But Yamada seems to be fine out of the box. Oh, this pose is ridiculous. Like, she was popping out of that vent so much. It's it's kind of hard to to pick one to display. Like, I really like them all, but I think, I think I'm going to have to go with this one. Just because uh, it's, it's so iconic. As well as it's floating in the air. Like, not many Nendroids do that. So I think that's something really unique to her. Uh, hopefully I can get myself the playset that she goes with and then I will attach it to the room just to give a better feel. But for now I think uh, I will try and get her as close to the top of my shelf. So I have the base here and have her kind of going, looking like she's coming out of the next row, which would be really neat. At some point I gotta, I gotta show off what my setup looks like for my shelves uh but yeah i'm really really happy with this pose and this figure in general like i think they they perfectly captured everything that yamada is and uh what she is for working it's a it's rare that i find a good comedy anime that that just kind of really clicks with me you know humor is subjective and all so it's hard to find something everyone likes uh, but this stuff like uh, Nichijo, Danshi Koko Se no Nichijo, and absolute all time favorite Kono Suba for sure. Uh, those things just really get to me. Uh, and speaking of which, uh, next episode we are going to be unboxing Megamine. Uh, I've ordered some of the Kono Suba characters. We've got Megamine, Aqua, and Darkness. So those three will be happening over the next couple of days. Uh, but yeah, that's gonna do it for this one. Uh, a lot of new people have been watching recently, so thanks for that. Hope you guys will like and subscribe and all that, all that cool stuff. 
really is helping me out and I appreciate all the kind comments and support. Uh, yeah, let's keep this going. So, I've ordered enough Nendroids to do an unboxing video. Uh, I'm gonna try for about 12 o'clock every day Australian time uh, on weekdays only. That way it gives me time to pre-record some stuff on weekends and, you know, have a life, play games. We got Persona 5 The Royal coming up pretty soon. Final Fantasy after that. So, do need some free time to play these massive JRPGs. Um, but yeah, stay tuned because uh, we've got a heck of a ton more Nandroids to open up. Alright guys, I'll catch you in the next one. Bye!